Windows Auto Patch is designed to handle Windows patching for you automatically. It's a feature available with Windows Enterprise licenses and it's really simple to get started. I'll jump into the demo in just a moment, but before I do, did you notice that this is not real? The whole thing is just a, a green screen. I could be anywhere right now. Anyway, auto patch. Let's look. From the Intune Admin Center, we're going to scroll down to Tenant Administration. From here, scroll all the way down to the bottom, and you see we have Windows Auto Patch Tenant Enrollment. When you click that, you get uh, you get to opt in. I've already opted in. Once you've opted in, you get to this bit here. You can see that we have some readiness status. So how ready is my tenant to enroll? And then on the right-hand side, you see why we have this ready readiness status. So right now, I've got two ready, zero not ready, and one advisory. On the face of it, that means absolutely nothing. We need to click in view details to see what that actually means. So we choose view details. And the advisory we have is that co-management something. We click into it and you can see that uh, to, sex to successfully enroll in devices that are co-managed, it's necessary that the co-management workload is switched to Intune. In my case, I don't have co-management enabled, so this is purely advisory and I can completely ignore it, so I'm going to do just that. Next, we, have, we see we have licenses in the tenant and we also have update rings for Windows 10 and later. Now, this specifically means that update rings for Windows 10 and later don't currently target all devices. If they do target all devices, then we'd struggle to make an autopilot patch group. An auto patch group, not autopilot patch, that's a different product. An auto patch group that targeted specific devices. So if you have a warning there or a not ready there because you've targeted update rings at all devices, it'll tell you how to fix that. For now though, you can see that I'm ready to go. All I need to do is choose Enroll. And I need to give permission for Microsoft via the auto patch service to do a few things. It's gonna create some, it's gonna create an app for us in the in Azure AD. It's gonna create policies, groups, and scripts necessary to run this service. It's gonna also manage and collect usage data about our devices. I'm gonna give Microsoft permission to do that because I'd like to enroll in the service, and then we'll choose agree. Once it's done, we need to specify the admin phone number and details about the admin, the primary admin. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And once we've finished tapping in those details, just choose complete, and it'll take a few seconds to set up the auto patch service. Okay, that's finished setting things up now. I just need to choose continue to start registering devices. And right now you can see we're in the auto patch node within Intune. We haven't really got anything configured here yet. We haven't put any devices into the auto patch groups. That's the next step. So over to the left here, we're gonna to go to devices. In fact, we're gonna to go to groups. And in groups, we're gonna take a look at auto patch. I think it's just called auto patch. There we go. So just minimize these down. You can see it's created a few groups for us. We have modern workplace devices, auto patch test, and fast, broad, and first. We also have last test and device registration. Now device registration is the group we need to put devices in in order to register them for auto patch. I'm gonna click on that. I'm gonna add some devices. I'm gonna go with uh, they're all called AVM, and I'm just going to add in six and seven to auto patch. In fact, I'll go with zero and one as well. Choose select. I've got those four members added. So back at the Intune Admin Center homepage, down to tenant administration, head down to tenant enrollment for auto patch, and see it says we're ready to start registering devices. Once you've put the devices into the auto patch device registration, it can take up to four hours for the devices to be to, to appear here. We can click on discover devices to register them on demand. As you can see, if we choose that, it takes up to an hour for these devices to be discovered. It's syncing right now. We'll give this a few moments while it happens. Okay, so it's finished doing that. 
discovery for me. And what it's done is found that two devices are ready and it's put them in the first group. As you can see, the group it's chosen is first and they've got a serial number, the last check-in date, the enrollment date, everything we need. We've got not ready, which uh, is currently empty. So it says there are no devices that are not ready. And then not registered, you can see we have uh, some devices, six and seven in this case, that didn't register. And we can click on the device to check why it wasn't registered and perhaps remediate it. So it says prerequisites failed. We'll click on number six. And it's come back with a few things. So it says the device serial number is empty. Co-management um, is it should be over in Intune. And also the Windows OS version is uh, is not supported. Now I've got a feeling that these devices are actually not managed by Intune. Let me just take a quick look at six and seven. I've got a feeling it's these two here. Let me just expand those a little bit. Six and seven are currently managed by MDE because of that video I did around security management with Defender for Endpoint. So really I've only got devices one and two that are available and my Alienware which is not in compliance right now. I probably need to spin up a couple more VMs in order to test autopilot, auto patch properly. But for now, you can see that it has worked. It has picked up those devices and put them in the group. So let's take a look at the portal again. There, It says they're in the first group. So let's check in our groups to see if it's automatically put them in the first group. And it has done. So these devices are now first to be patched with auto patch. In future, as I add more devices, it will choose the right group based on attributes about that device. Uh, and what you'll find is the more devices you have, the better spread out your patching groups will be. Now that we've set up auto patch, I'm going to look into how we can configure some of the new features of auto patch in the next video. See you next time.